yeah, it's been an amazing experience playing such an iconic person. Usually you don't get the opportunity to play a real life celebrity. You get the opportunity to play some dramatic character, but we have a lot of information on Marilyn and a lot of it is uh, false or mixed up. Um, we don't really know much about her life because she died before she got the chance to tell us. So it's been really great to kind of unravel everything about Marilyn. And she's really, truly was probably one of the most amazing women ever. So it's been an honour, absolutely an honour to play her. I think one thing that audience can really expect from the show is different sound worlds. I mean, it's quite amazing being on stage and all of a sudden you're transported to these amazing whirling soundscapes to then all of a sudden in some smoky jazz bar. It kind of delves between some sort of jazzy opera because you've got a, a tenor sax, a double bass and keys all playing with percussion. All of a sudden then grand virtuosic moments of Wagner and Verdi. It really kind of blurs the two, two worlds together. So a really amazing kind of sound world for us to enjoy as an audience and singers. It's all kind of written in fragments. So it, it starts off with her uh, rising from the dead and then she tells her story in fragments from her life. She kind of shows her most important things, arguments with lovers and big performances that she had and we kind of delve deeper into her story and show her highs and her lows so we get a sense of how vulnerable she really was in real life. So this is a really important time uh, to do this sort of show because this is the 60th anniversary of Marilyn's death. It's all the different kind of relationships that she has with these different men as they try to take advantage, as they were uh, in love with her and how she deals with them. It really is all about Marilyn and that's at the real core of the story.